Hello everyone, welcome to another video in our Elasticsearch tutorial series. This video will probably be the last one here. Uh, the reason behind that is that we have went through all of the basic topics that we wanted to talk about and we have um, we are left with only one and that's app pagination. So this is something that we are going to be talking about today. If you have some other topics that you would like me to address, uh, you can just leave me a comment and then maybe we can make some additional videos. But for now, this should be it. So let's get started with uh, today's video. It will be quite simple uh, what we want to do. Basically, the idea behind it is that we want to be able to limit our results. So saying that we have, for example, a huge data set where we get, I don't know, tens of thousands of results and we don't want to send all of that to our end user, we want to limit that. So basically we want to create pages and we want to define what the size of a page is. For example, we want to show, I don't know, 100 documents per page or something like that. And then we want to be able to go through the different pages. So switch from page zero to page whatever. So in today's video, we are going to take a look at uh, how we can implement that. For the beginning, the first thing that we want to do is we want to create a new, um, a search request DTO. So basically we'll be extending this one. We're going to create a new uh, new DTO here and call it something like page request DTO. Inside of this uh, page request DTO, we're going to have two properties. We're going to have a property called page and property called size. Let me add them and then I'll explain what we are going to do with them. And here it is. So we have two properties. We have a page and we have a size. And we also have a default size value, which is just 100. So here you can basically put whatever you want. What this means is that in case that you do not set the size, uh, so if it's zero, we want to return something. So you want to return a default size. And yeah, that's pretty much it. The next thing that we want to do is we want to extend this search request DTO. So we are just going to extend it with the page request DTO that we have created here. So let's go extends and uh, page request DTO. So that's it, quite simple. Um, the idea behind this is that now in the search request DTO, if we go to our uh, search util, where we have this uh, build search request method where we provide an index name and a search request DTO. So um, we have a couple of these methods. I'm just going to be extending one, um, but you can of course do it for the other ones also. So this is the like our search uh, endpoint. If we go to the vehicle controller, so this endpoint here, this is what we are going to be changing today. And yeah, so the idea behind it is that we uh, take the properties that we have just added, so the page and the size, and we provide it to the uh, builder so that the builder can uh, use those properties to limit our data set. In Elasticsearch, we have um, two properties. One is called uh, from and the other one is called size. So basically what this means, size is self-explanatory. Um, you're defining the size of the request. So how, how, um, how much the documents do you want this request to return? I mean, if you don't have that much, uh, of course, it will return less, or if you have none, it will return zero, so an empty array. Um, but um, here you're setting the upper limit. And also the from is not really a page, but more like uh, from which document on do you want to uh, search? For example, if you say zero, which is also the default value of the from property, um, you will search from the zero document to the whatever the size is. If size is 10, you will search from zero to 10. And if from is 100, you would search from document 100 to size, uh, size for example 10, then 100 plus 100 uh, plus 10, so 110. And um, if you do not have a document on 100, uh, it will just return an empty array. But we do not want to use the from directly, we want to use the page, so the, what we added here. The idea behind it is that uh, the user is, um, it, it's easier for them to say page zero, page one, page two, page three, and whatever, instead of calculating, okay, I have this many documents, I want to go from this one to this one. So all the logic of the calculation will be done in the back end. So let's uh, take a quick look how we can do that. So here it is. 
we have our page, we have our size, and then we have this from property. So this is how we're calculating it. If the page is zero, so which will be our very first page, then the from is just zero. But if the page is anything else than zero, so if it's, um, actually we could set it like this, if it's for some reason um, less or equal zero, then it's zero, otherwise, uh, it will be page times size. For example, if you would say page is one and size is 10, that would mean that uh, the from would be at 10, meaning that we are searching on the second page, which is uh, from 10 to whatever the size is, in our case 10, so 10 plus 10, 20, from 10 to 20. And if the page is, I don't know, 100 um, times size, then we're just searching from that to the plus size value. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, what we now have to do is we have to take the from property, put it here, and we want to take the size property and put it here. And uh, let's make all of this final. So all, um, yeah, all uh, three of them. And after we have done that, yeah, we want to uh, start Elasticsearch and also start our application and give it a try and see if it works. So our application is running and also our Elasticsearch. And I have uh, here our search endpoint. So I am on the vehicle slash search and I'm searching on the field name uh, with the term Audi. And I have some order, which is uh, doesn't really matter here. So if I send this, um, you can see that we get three results. We get the ID one, two and three because we have only three uh, vehicles with the, that contain the name Audi, uh, so in their name, so that they contain the term Audi in their name. What we want to do now is we want to limit this. So we want to say, give me the first page and uh, set the size to two. We would expect in that case that since the size is two and we're just searching for the first page, that we would get the vehicle with ID one and the vehicle with the ID two, but not the vehicle with the ID three, because that would be on the second page. So let's do that. So we have to extend our uh, search request here. We set the page, um, we set it to zero because that's our first page and size, uh, which is by default on 100. If you wouldn't set it, that would mean that um, uh, this would be same uh, as the default one, which would still get us all three results because we, yeah, if we would have more than 100, then we would just get the first 100. But let's set it to two and send this request. And here it is, we got only two results. We got the ID one and the ID two. If we change the page now to one, we should get only ID three. And here it is. So now we're just getting the ID three. And if we go further on, like page whatever, five, which should not exist, we just get an empty array. And also if we go page zero and size one, you can also see that we are getting only the ID one. If we set the size to zero, we should get all of them because we have this nice check that just uh, goes to our default size, which is 100. And yeah, that's it. This is actually quite simple to implement and I wanted to show it to you guys so that you also know it. And uh, as always, the code is available on GitHub so you can just uh, take a look at there and see how this was implemented. And if you have any questions, just uh, leave me a comment or send me an email or whatever. And of course, if you have some additional topics that you would like to see in this series, let me know and then maybe we can make an additional video for it uh, later on. Yeah, that would be everything. Um, I guess I will see you in the next one.